Hey, good morning. Well, it's not actually morning, is it? I don't know, but it's early here in Seattle. That's all I know. <laughs> Earlier than where you guys are. <clears throat> Let's see if this is going to be okay. We'll see. I'll log in and then I'll be able to see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to show you what I did. And then I'll make one with you. Here. Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, so I'm going butterfly crazy. Butterfly crazy. I got birds out, I know, but ah. It's because I got to have a bird on one spot. I ran out of die cuts, so I gotta go to my stash of my real die cuts to get some. Oh wait, I don't usually use them. But anyway, I'm making these envelopes, they're really cute. Hi Annette! I'm doing butterflies today and I need a little ephemera. I need a little bit of butterflies. You get these butterflies in my shop, they're so... I love them. I'll show you here in a minute. And then I needed a couple birds. So I'm scammering around to find some bird die cuts. I mean, Tim Holtz, you only get so many, right? But anyways, digging out all my butterflies. I got lots of kinds. So I'll show you what I made and then I'll show you what we're gonna make. I'm still in my robe, we just had breakfast. I made biscuits and gravy and <laughs> all this. So, I just am making these altered envelopes, and they're cute because, I don't know, I am I like turquoise and purple together, so they're kind of pretty, and I used, um, these ones are K and Company, big sheet of stickers I got. These are K and Company, these ones with the glitter, and I ripped, that's like texture too from Hobby Lobby paper, and I sell these stamps in my shop. These are Tim Holtz, and I made some cute paper on the inside, just scrunched it up, and so these are cute, and this ribbon's in my shop, it's script stamped and inked up, and I, it's a vintage muslin, and I hand dyed it and ripped, so it's all, it's all hand done there. And this one's pretty, I love the stamps on the paper, sometimes you get stamps from me and they're just a stamp. But sometimes they come on paper and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. My husband was ripping them off. I'm like, no, leave it. <laughs> so anyway, hi, Leslie. So I, and I sewed around these ones too, which I like. So I just like the way these look. And then I sewed the bird on the end and just a little bit of, and then the same stamp in there. So they're just kind of cute. And this one's kind of the same ribbon in my shop. Butterflies are in my shop, and the birds, I think, I don't know where that one came from, I forget right now, that's Tim Holtz, same little, so these are cute, right? And then I had extra little papers, so I made these little butterfly books, these are the stickers from my shop, they're really pretty, you can see through them, that's what I like about these, they're kind of like vellum-ish a little bit, not vellum, but like washi tape-ish kind of, and you can see through them, so I ink them first, and then put them down and they're really nice. I love the way, and this has got tracing paper over it to kind of soften it up. And then I put one of the butterflies on and my ribbon there, this is in my shop too. This is that pink salmon and then you put ink on it, it looks good and I just made a little booklet, you know, with tracing paper over it to kind of go with the, you know, to kind of go with the whole butterfly thing. And I got another one here, it was all butterflies so I tried to cover it up with a piece of doily and this is in my shop too and then I made a little this is just a little scrap out a little scraps you know you can put the little quotes in there I didn't put any quotes in there but you can and then I just stuffed it in there and then this one I did stamp uh punch the edges on some of these ones on that one I just sewed down 
tracing paper over that one. This one's kind of the same. Team binding in my shop. I think that's peacock something. Butterflies for my shop. And then another little... I just put a ticket on the front. You guys can't hear me? No way. And then I got little snippets. I just taped a ticket on the front. These tickets are in my shop too. Little, little booklet. Well, let me know if you can't hear because that won't be very good. My mouth is right here, so... There shouldn't be any reason why you can't hear right now. Holy buckets. Somebody say if I can hear. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Irene. Okay, so I put the link to the butterflies in the description box below. And then if you need these. And then also I'm going to be using... My girl Kristen from, you guys know Kristen from group, my admin. She's got these incredible other kind of butterflies that I love. I've been hoarding them. I haven't been able to use them because I, you know how you hoard them. And I, so she started making them again. So I ordered more. So now I have enough. So now I can make these, but they're so cool because they're like a couple different layers, you know. And they come flat, but then you can fluff them up. There's like three layers here, see? So they're really cute, and she can do them in all different colors, and they're all the, and these are vellum. So anyways, I'm going to use these on the edge of the pages, so I'm saving them, still saving them, even though I'm going to use them. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do these three envelopes. I like to do everything in an assembly line. I'm sewing around these, too, which is weird, I know. Hi, Steph. <clears throat> So, we're doing envelopes today. Hey, I cleaned. I'm just saying. It may not look like it right here, but I really did. It does kind of. <laughs> kind of looks like I cleaned. I really did. Okay. Oh, here's my black. That's what I needed. These were from yesterday's. My scraps music paper but we always need that so you never know get my butterflies your ephemera and your three envelopes okay and my stamps you gotta have some stamps so oh gee first thing you gotta do always is ink you know so let's just get that out of the way first of all Shall I set these here so you guys can see what I'm making? It's these pretty pretties, but I don't know where to put them so you can see. We like try to be like the pros. That's what we're making right here is the envelopes. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Now when you come on, you can see what the heck we're doing. I got to get organized. <laughs> Do I say that every year? Oh. Uh, I try, but, you know, I'm just not, uh, just not that neat. <laughs> you go on some, they got candles and all this. I'm just like, oh, God, I could never. Crafty Arena's got such a nice setup. She's got it all pretty, and I'm just like, oh, my God, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Okay, then my trusty script is always right here. Put a little black on that, baby. Black sit. Get my ephemera out of the way. My stamps. I will get this eventually, so it's all, like, cool. <laughs> I will get it. How's that? Is that good? can't see my own screen. How's that? Can you see the dang envelopes? Alright. Put some... I dumped over my thing and now I got stuff on my... Little pieces on my script. 
So I just dab dab when I do my script. I don't have any plan. I just want it to look like it was naturally done like that. Oh no, I can't do this one. It's roses. I gotta save that for my kid. Oh, darn it. I need a different envelope. Need a different envelope. I ain't using that one. My daughter's coming. She wants to do roses, so I gotta save every single rose for her. Because that's what kind of mommy I am. <laughs> okay, let me find something here. That one's already got a stamp on it. I don't know if I'm going to like blue, but we could go with it. I was trying to do purple. These were all pale purple when I, but I ran out of those kind. All right, this one's already got stamp on it and stuff inside, but whatever, I guess. All right. So, script, script. So you're just getting a little bit, you know. And then what I'm doing is I, I rip the edges, you know, of all my paper when I do new books. So that's what I did last night and I was inking it up and stuff. So I got the leftover strips, you know, all these strips and they make good for look this so that's what I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing this gluing these cool edges on to the this has got blue on to these however it works out it works out you know what I'm saying like this or sideways we could do them sideways this time like that right I like them. I think it looks really neat. Like this, right? So ink the edge of that. That's what takes the most time in all this, is all this dang inking. <laughs> right? And I know I can set it down and ink it, but it doesn't give the same effect. Everything's different. Every tool that you use gives a different inking effect, and I want really dark edges. I have these in my shop, too. A whole set of all of these, it comes with a whole bunch of these and it comes with a washer too, these blender tools. I love these, but not for this particular part. But I like it for the dark edges. But I do have those in the shop too if you're looking for blenders that are amazing for stenciling. Oh my God, I love those. But I think I got, I don't know how many sets left. But I like it because it comes with a little brush washer, a little scrubby. You put soap in it and you in and out, in and out like this. It's kind of cool. And it comes with a big, huge sponge. Bigger than this, it comes with a big sponge too. I love it. It's a whole set. You have to look. I love it. <laughs> All right. See how that's going to go. Ooh, this is cool. And then you got to find stamps. I sell stamps in my shop. You get 50 in a bag. And they come in these little bags like this. I like this color because I'm doing purple and this teal. So I'm going to use this. Cool, man. Right? And you don't even need to ink the edge of this even. It looks good just the way it is. But I do have regular stamps and international. Both. 
I think I can start gluing now. Glue this on here, right? And we'll glue this on there. And sometimes I even use just glue stick because I am going to sew around too. Because I love the sewing. It just looks good. Cool. I love that. Because you really don't need to waste your really good glue on paper. But, but it's okay. Ooh, that looks good. I love it. I love ripped paper like that. <laughs> I just like the way it looks. You guys like these? Aren't they cute with the butterflies and stuff? Different kinds. I love these. And it was really funny too because Kristen messaged me. And she's like, I'm using your butterflies today. Thank you. I sent them to her because that's her favorite, you know, butterflies. When I got them in my shop, I sent her a pack. And, you know, it takes a while to get to things and use them, you know. So you say thanks, thanks. But when you go to use them, then you're like, oh, these are cool, you know. So she messaged me this morning, just now, a little bit ago. And she's like, I did a video in group and I'm using your butterflies. I'm like, oh, my God, girl, I'm using your butterflies. <laughs> and we're both doing videos. They're going to think we did this on purpose. <laughs> she's like, oh, God. Oh, that was funny. But we totally didn't. I'm like, no, it's just a butterfly day, I guess. Because we both picked to do butterflies today. It's kind of funny. Let's see. What kind of stamp do we want for this one? It's kind of got the green. Vietnam vet stamp. We can use green. Right? Ah, my dang stickers fell down. I got too much stuff up here, quite obviously. Okay. There. I need a little drawer for these. I got a little spot over here, but... I need another one of these things with all the drawers in them. I got a little thing right here of 12 drawers, but I actually need another one. <laughs> uh, okay, this is cute, right? Now, which... Stickers do I use? Hmm, I'm trying to use these up because I'm sick of having this big long thing, you know what I mean? And these are the K and Company ones. But I want to use mine too because I want to show you guys what they look like down on stuff. So we'll see which one has a good color. We want purple maybe on this one or a contrasting oh yeah look see how pretty that's gonna be ooh 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 that one's cute I like that one but I kind of want to use these up too so let's look and this one's got dragonflies it's really pretty that one's really pretty too. Ooh, let's use this one too. I gotta get these used up. I'm using this. <laughs> I'm using it. It's all about my scraps and using up my stuff today. I'm over it. I have so much stuff. And when I get done, I'm gonna pump out like I don't know how many books. <laughs> I have so much stuff made up, it's ridiculous. It's like, okay. But every time I think that, then I go to make a bunch of books right in a row, and it's like, oh, it was only enough for two? You gotta be joking. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Dang, I love it. I think I want to put a little... I tried to ink the edge right before I laid it down. I forgot, you know what I'm saying? But you can ink around it a little bit and make like a little shadow on the paper so it looks like it's casting a little shadow. To like see how it there it looks a little better cast a little shadow even if it's not on it itself but it just goes around it it's okay 
love it. Nice. Okay, then... Oh, I forgot the stamp on our stamp. I always stamp on the stamp. Because it just gives it extra stuffs. And when you get stamps from my shop, I don't go... Well, Sean goes through them, you know, but not really good. You never know if you're going to find a good one. Because we really don't, like, look that well, you know what I mean? He collects stamps, but at the same time, you get so many eventually, and it's like, eh. <laughs> so, so, you just never know, but... We take out our Christmas ones, because we like to keep those separate. And then if there's anything in particular, you know, that I might like or something. I got a couple Gone with the Winds, or I got a couple Wizard of Oz, you know, that I saved. But, but other than that, okay, now this one, let's see. Well, all of them would look good. I guess it don't really matter, does it? I just want to use them, I guess. So we'll just, I'm just keep thinking blue, blue. So yellow and blue look good. Let's just use this yellow one. Ink it first. Sheesh. And I didn't even judge the butterflies up. You know, you could put the diamonds in or, you know, whatever you want to do, you know. I didn't do much to them. Because they already got glitter and stuff. They're already pretty the way they are. So, I just... Oh, these are so pretty. I love them. And this one I like, too, because it's the same color. But again, I want to use these up, so I'm going to use this purple one. I'll use mine on the on the next round. I mean, I'm kind of making a butterfly journal next, you know, or whatever, but at the same time you can't have all butterflies in it. Like, it's going to have butterflies in it, but it can't be just all butterflies, you know? So I'll use these in other books, too, because, you know, you can have this in other, other books. Ooh, that's pretty. Ain't it cute? This one, I think, could almost have two. I'm going to put two in this one. I think I can get away with it. A big enough envelope and they're small enough butterflies I think this is cute hey you guys are awful quiet let me move this and see if I'm just missing it Okay, I guess you guys are talking on some stuff. I must be just missing it because it was behind my dang envelopes. <laughs> what are we going to do with this one? Up here? This one up on the top? Oh, that's pretty. Those are cute. Nice. And then I've been using my ribbon that I made in my shop. I got a couple different colors, you know how I do. This is my Kool-Aid dyed stuff. I do it every summer. Get the Kool-Aid out, make that paper I love, and make some different colors of ribbon. But, I was thinking I wanted to use my purple. But I don't see it, so. So. I kind of wanted to use purple, but oh well. I guess. I 
This Kool-Aid was a little bit light, so I go over it a little bit. I'm just barely, just, you can see how I'm doing it, just barely with some of this peacock feathers. Just because it didn't quite get dark enough. Sometimes the blues, you got to find the right Kool-Aid. Sometimes they don't work quite right. Some of them. And I still run it through my other inker, too. My Kool-Aid didn't work very good that time. Oh, that's pretty, but I almost want some. Ah, oh, dang it. The problem is, honestly, <laughs> is I have this pile. <laughs> I haven't got to it yet. And I'm looking for my ribbon. I don't know where it is. I like, and I want purple or this color, and I have it, and I don't know where. Uh, oh well, I'll just quit whining, I guess. But I really did want a different color, but oh well, it'll still be pretty. But I really should sew before I do that, so otherwise I'll be making another mistake. Okay, so I want to sew now. Ooh, these are going to be pretty. Let me get to do that. Oh, but wait a minute. When you sew now, wait a minute. I'll do the ribbon last. Here's what you got to do next. I forgot. Let's turn these over. Because we need a scrap on the back. Oh, for Pete's sakes. See, I get too excited. Need a scrap on the back. This one matches. We'll use that. Can't sew till I get the back done. And I'll show you what I did here. You never used what, Joy? Oh, yeah, you can't use the sugar. It'll be all sticky. I tried it. And you don't want to wash it because it just washes the Kool-Aid right out. You know what I mean? So the sugar doesn't do good, I'm telling you. I never get... You just get the Kool-Aid packets, the old-fashioned kind. And I just mix... I don't even make a whole regular, like, pitcher full like the directions say. I just put a couple cups in. So it's real dark, you know. Just depending on how... How dark you want it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and then, uh, do your dipping. This is this. This is this. What did I do last time? It's on the side. Okay, so if I do it down here, that'll be different. Well, I sent my husband to the store, you know, Get me some Kool-Aid. And he brought home all kinds of different crap. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I can't really get much of anything else to work besides the Kool-Aid. We tried, you know, a lot of the drinks and none of it seemed to work very well, you know. So, but Kool-Aid seems to have the right dye. <laughs> Let 
We tried, um, what's the other one? Crystal Light, you know, or the other granules or whatever. But they didn't seem to work. I couldn't get it to work anyways. What am I looking for here? Uh, I'm looking. Oh, here's a little tiny piece. Oh, God. Not very much, but that'd be all right. These are all the scraps from ripping my... These I just ripped last night. These are just the edges off my 12 by 12 pieces of paper that I ripped off so I can make a journal, you know, with ripped pages. So, so these are all just my strips left over. I'm just digging through from ripping last night. And I'm just using my strips from last night so I have matching stationery when I go to do my journal. You know what I mean? So I have my pages right here. I'll show you. I think I do. Yeah, right here. So I like to mix. Not done yet, but see how I just ripped the edges? So I ripped the edges off. This one I'll have to rip again right here. It's way too big still. But then I have all these, you know, extras. And I have these. So now I can use these, you know, for to decorate up. So I have all these I gotta ink up. These are gonna be my journal. See? No, that's good, Michelle. Yep, so I'm gonna add all this to my journal, all these pages, see? I ripped them all up, and then here's my plain paper that I'm going to add to it. I inked this all up in different colors. See how I'm going to do it? So I'm going to mix this and this, and then I'm going to add in, like, different kinds of um, other paper, sheet music and yada yadas, you know, and do all that. So now I'm making stationery to kind of go with it, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got all these scraps. So it's going to be all kind of, you know... So it'll all kind of match, see? So that's what I'm doing. Now, these ones I was just putting little, this one came with some flowers, so I was just putting a couple flowers on the back because I had them. So we'll do that still again. Sure, Michelle, did you, you're in group, aren't you, in my group? We have kind of fun there, too. Yeah, it's pretty paper, I know. This is, um, some of that was Seven Gypsies and, um, Seven Gypsies and what is that stuff? I forget right now. You know, with the butterflies, all this paper I'm using? Dang, what's the name of that stuff? Uh... Huh, I don't know. I thought I had the pad right here, but I guess I don't. Sorry. Now, what do you guys think about me putting the B on there? You know, it's for butterfly, but I mean, would it look monogrammed if I put a B on here? It's supposed to be for butterfly, though, you know what I mean? So I was thinking of putting a B on, but I don't know. It kind of bugs me. And then I was thinking, oh, I'll send them to my mom, you know, but she won't put Bs on anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? She just won't. I already know. So, I don't know. I guess you could put random letters around. Be alright. Now, this one, I got that kind of yellowish butterfly on the front. So, I like the bee, too. So, I'm going to put a yellowish dragonfly in the back. And we'll make him... How about we put the bee on and we make him sit on top of the bee? How about that? Give us something to look at. Something to do with this one different. How could we do it like this? That'd be cute. Sit on top of the B and we'll put the B over here. I bet you I'll need some glue. These don't stick very well. I could put cheesecloth and stuff behind, but I'm not because my journals get so bulky that I don't need any more bulk right now. I'm just wanting to do papery. You know what I mean? Like papery. 
papery stuff. Because, oh my gosh, by the time I put in all my stuff, oh, you know how big my books get. <laughs> you guys know. You guys know. Where do I want this? There, that looks good. This one has a flower. What are we going to do with this one? We could use a B on this one, too. It's kind of the same color, too. Kind of might be cool. What you doing, babe? Sean's doing coffee paper for me. I got one batch, I think. Okay. I don't know if it's dry yet or not. Well, you can do two because there's two oven racks. Well, I know I did two. Oh, okay. So leaving it in there. Yeah, you can leave it in there and shut it off and be done. Thanks, babies. Hopefully it's up to dry enough. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so now the next thing is, is pick your bird. You gotta have a bird. The girls are saying hi, Sean. Hi. Say hi louder. Hi. <laughs> He's farting today. Around. He's farting around. Tomorrow. Yep. He's got to work tomorrow. Trying to heal up. So he likes to lay around, drink beer, watch TV, puts around with me, maybe. If I bug him enough to, huh, Daddy? Well, you're not bugging me now. Not bugging you now. <laughs> Well, let's see. Try to get a little rest up. Tomorrow. Rest up, yeah. Everything hurts. Yeah. I know. Sorry, honey. That one will look good. And this one, I don't like the color. This one, I like the color. And this one, let's see what we can find here. These are my old die cuts from the 1800s. I don't ever use these, but for whatever reason, today, I'm digging out my birds. It's a rare occasion. I don't know, this one's long and weird, so I can't really find something to go on there. Oh, look at that baby. Oh, I need to use that one. Oh, this is so cute. Got to be careful with these, though. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, look at her. All right, so let's see. Now, okay, so I pick a bird for each one. I'll just use the bird. It doesn't get a matter. It all looks good. But this one has to be different because it's got a long... i got to figure out something to do with that one because it's weird. Unless I find something else. That one will be okay. i got to find something for this one, didn't I already? Am I not seeing it? Oh, yeah, right here. This one. Okay, and then I put a piece of ephemera behind it, too. So then you gotta find a matching piece of something, something. This looks okay. We'll just ink it up and... What, Michelle? Oh, about Joanne? Sure. We know about Joanne fabrics. <laughs> we all know about Joanne's. Okay, so this is just fun to just layer like this just so it has a cute background. What I'm trying to do is give my envelope a closure rather than the same old ticket thing that I always put there. So I thought if I scattered a little ephemera on here and a little birdie on the edge, it would be cute. You know what I mean? But I like it to be sewed on in such a way that it kind of makes it close. And I have to sew it, so I don't want to sew right on the birdie face. You know what I'm saying? So i kind of been doing it. You can see these ones, I kind of went a little sideways or whatever, you know. Just So that's what I do. So that'll be cute like that. This one, we can pick this one. And we can just sew this right on the edge like this. 
and make the birdie go straight and sew it on. We'll sew it on the corner, kind of make it snazzy like that. And then this one, let's find, nope, that's too ugly. I don't know, this one needs some zhuzhing in the back. What is this one anyway? Oh, the yellow, okay, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got the little birdies. Oh, that's cute. Maybe I wouldn't need a birdie on this one. It's got birdie ephemera right on there. That'd be all right, because I don't like this birdie. I don't like that birdie. This one's cuter. Right? And I could put... I could put something else back there. Not that I need to, but I could. Because every piece has two. Then you come across this one and it only has one. What the heck? Right? Maybe we'll switch colors for this. Let's just see what that looks like. Not sure if I'll like it, but I think that's okay. So then I just go sew. So I'll hold it like this and I'll go sew all the way around. And then we'll make the insert. Sewing machine skipping stitches. I don't know why. It's weird. I'll show you. Weird. Look, it goes straight. I'm doing zigzag and straight, straight. What the heck? What the heck's going on, man? With that. All right, one more, and then we'll be done, and I'll show you how to do the, we'll do the insert next. I don't know, this one's kind of getting lost in the whole deal here. I don't know if I like that now that I got it. Now that I got it sitting here, I don't like it. Maybe this one doesn't need a bird. This is a weird, it's yellow. How about that? We'll just put that one on there. That'll be better. I need a piece of ephemera back here to match the rest of them. It's got some yellow on it, so we'll just zip that across.
Okay, how cute are these? Look how cute. I love these. Look at how cute that one is. Oh, I like this one's my favorite. <laughs> and then when I go to garage sales and stuff and I find stationary sets, I just keep them because they're the perfect little pieces of paper to put in these kind of envelopes, you know what I mean? So we'll just take out three sheets. I'm gonna get out my peacock feathers. The butterfly stamp. These are so cute. I know, right? I love these. I love I like envelopes, so I always have fun making them. <laughs> There's that. Grunge it up a little bit. Right? Yeah. Put a little script on there. There. Howdy doody. See, look at that. Oh, these are so cute. I love the little birdies. Put your little thing in. Sweet. Oh, I love these. Except for we got to put the ribbon on. Got to do the ribbon because the ribbon is going to put it over the top. And then we'll be like, woohoo. Got to have the ribbon. <laughs> Let's do the ribbon real quick. That's cute. Well, this one's probably got to be folded different. It's a different envelope. Yeah, I got to do this one three-way. I'll put it in this one. Let's get the ribbon on here so we can see what it looks like really quick. Okay, this one gets... Forget now. Forget now what I was going to do. I think that's the long one. This one and this one goes here. Okay. Got to put the ribbon on. so cute. I love the color. There, these are cute. I like them. As soon as the glue dries. Look how cute these are. So now what I do, Melissa, since you're new, is I take the Stuff that we just did and then I go post it in group because pictures are always different than the video you know so I'll go post these in group and then you can try your hand at it or we can at least talk about it or see what happens right fun <laughs> so anyways I'm off then to do some more thanks for coming in you guys that was fun see you later
Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. It really helps.